And today, filming in the rain. Okay, maybe we're not gonna film in the rain. This is a, this is a bad idea. <laughs> oh, wow, it's really rainy out here. Check out this door. <laughs> we're trying something different. I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes of where in the world is CL, the name of my channel, and some of the things that you just will not see in my edited videos is where I've been, some funny stories that you will not hear about on the channel, some fun things about where I'm traveling to next, and also some shout outs, because I'm super thankful for y'all. But let's dive in. Whew, actually, and if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine with Where in the World is the CL and I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. These videos will come out once a week and tell me in the comments below once we get into it, what you think and if I should keep doing them. I think it might be kind of fun. So let's start with where have I been over the last month? I actually need to refer to my iPhone notes for this. This has actually been a really fun month. At the beginning of March, I actually didn't go anywhere. I had someone really awesome come visit me at Meatball's place in South Florida. Gabby and I had some really awesome adventures kayaking around and doing some other stuff, but dropped a really fun podcast episode with her about that. So in case you missed it, check it out. And then right after that, oh, I went to Portland. I was in Portland, Oregon, and I was there for the Women's Travel Fest. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a gathering of women for a weekend with a lot of different interesting conversations around travel. One of them, for example, is a woman who literally walked around the world. And for something super crazy, like 20,000 miles, she just walked around the world with her wagon and camped everywhere. Super badass story, but I was at that festival, really just there to connect with other female travelers. You wanna know what else I did on this trip? You'll see this video dropping eventually, but I skipped out on the conference for one of the days, rented a car and went up to Argyle, which is one of the biggest bubble houses in the United States. So really excited to go finally visit that winery. Oh, if you don't know this, I would say 80% of my travel in my mid twenties was all centered around wine countries. I basically would just travel around the world to different wine countries. I love drinking wine. I think you guys know that, but it was a really awesome trip. And then after that, I did something pretty typical for me, which is I had a quick turnaround to switch luggages. So I went back to South Florida to say hi to Meatball, switch my luggages, and over a 37 hour period of time, edited a ton of videos and then got back on a plane and I flew to New Orleans. And I was in New Orleans for, I was there for almost two weeks. I was there for another festival. I was there for Wanderfest, which is the first women's outdoor festival in the world. Super fun. You probably saw it, but I had posted something on social media about inviting people to come on this trip with me. And in a 30 hour period of time, over a dozen women booked flights. So it was an amazing time to connect and just, ah, we painted that town red. New Orleans was super fun. What did I do after that? Oh, and then the party crew came in. So my parents are doing their first cross country road trip and they drove from San Diego, did a bunch of stops and met me in New Orleans. And then we got an Airbnb, Meatball flew in and we just had this awesome time hanging out in New Orleans and super lucky. And my heart goes out to the people in New Orleans and I checked in with a bunch of friends who were there, but we left right when the weather started because they just got hit by a bunch of tornadoes. <sighs> Actually, in full transparency, one of the nights we were there, there was a tornado warning and we had to evacuate into the first floor area. It was during the VIP party for the festival, so they actually uh, evacuated us along with all the drinks and snacks. Anyway, after New Orleans, awesome time. Meatball flew back and my parents and I traveled on to Destin. Whoa, I've always wanted to see the beaches of the Gulf Coast and now I understand why everyone raves about them. Beautiful, beautiful sand, beautiful, beautiful views. We had an amazing time staying at an Airbnb right on the beach and it was just beautiful. Ah, oh, and after Destin, we got to where we are right now, which is one of my most favorite places in the world, which is Crystal River. You guys know I love the manatees. And you know what? It's March, so it's at like the end of manatee season. So manatees are super light, but still super beautiful here. Here's a funny behind the scenes story. So they will open Three Sisters Springs if 
there's not too many manatees in there, so they let us swim in. And I took some underwater photography shots that I've done a million times before, but this is the first time that both of my contacts popped out of my eyeballs and I could not see a single thing. If you have contacts or glasses, tell me in the comments below, but my vision is a negative 6.5. In other words, if we were right here and you were looking at me, by the way, look at my awful nails right now. Isn't that hilarious? If you were looking at me right now, I wouldn't know if you were looking at me or looking behind me or even in this direction. Let me show you what my glasses look like. They're really, really thick. Uh, a lot of people comment on them. It's not very nice. <laughs> But I was completely blind uh, during the entire kayak trip, which was really, really funny. But the downside of that meant I couldn't fly my drone because even though I could put the screen really close to me, there's no way. Well, actually, that's not true. I think it'd be difficult for me to hand launch and hand catch my drone from the kayak. So anyway, that was a hilarious story. Oh, and actually, while I come show you my glasses, this is hilarious. This Airbnb bathroom does not have a door. It doesn't have a door. <laughs> <laughs> nice, right? Oh, look at these suckers. You see that? Can you see that? Oh man, that's so embarrassing. So thick. So thick. So thick. Ooh. Oh, by the way, All if right. you're feeling like, oh man, Christine's kind of low energy right now. That's because I got food poisoning. Not only does this Airbnb not have a door, the Airbnb TV itself is actually pretty nice, but it doesn't have a door on the bathroom, but I think something's wrong with the refrigerator. It feels just fine. All the food in the fridge went rancid and I may have eaten something that made me very sick. So I spent five hours last night just throwing up. That sucked. Actually, let's give you a quick tour of the Airbnb and uh, you can say hi to my parents. Because I'm not feeling well today, we just went to a tea house. I've basically been working all day and then we just went to a tea house for a little bit. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty fun. Here are their bikes. Okay, so do you, you probably already have it. This one has a door. And so it's uh, being sent to your... My dad's working so hard. <laughs> <laughs> What's my mother doing? Uh, let's see. I might be playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice relaxing day. Yeah, it's raining outside, so we're having a relaxing day. Okay, doing do laundry. Do Let's talk about what you can expect to see next for me because there are some fun projects I'm working on. And also, this is my last day in Crystal River. We leave tomorrow morning to continue the road trip and preview one of my other most favorite places in Florida. I'm traveling to next. It's Sarasota but I have an invite out to all of you guys to come travel with me. I had so much fun on the Virgin Voyages cruise that I'm gonna start doing these sailings in which people can come join me on them. Super fun, so stay tuned for info about that. There is a website link in the description below for you to learn more about it, and I have a full playlist of videos I've been working on for that, so super excited about that, June 10th. And Actually, to be honest, between now and until June 10th, it's basically all conference travel. So I'm gonna wrap up this road trip with my parents pretty soon. Then they're gonna head back to California. I'm gonna pass the baton to my sister and they're gonna go meet up with her and travel on with her. Um, but I have a ton of conference travel coming up. And actually, if you've ever been curious about flying drones, I am doing workshops at all of these conferences. I also have my drone YouTube channel, in case you didn't know about that. And I also have some free online workshops coming up. I'll drop some info in the description below about that, but I am a believer that every single traveler and travel creator should fly drones because it's so fun and so easy. All right, so make sure you tell me in the comments below what you're thinking of this style of video. Should I keep doing them? I don't know, it's kind of fun. There's a lot of things on my channel that you just will not see on the day to day. I post a lot about it on Instagram, but uh, nothing's more fun in my opinion than long form video. But I do wanna give a couple shout outs because I was looking at the calendar and yesterday marks my two and a half year anniversary that I've been a creator. And so I know some of you have been with me since the beginning and I just wanna say thank you. I know you know who you are and I just wanted to say thanks. Um, and I also wanted to thank some creators. I make these YouTube videos because I make the helpful travel video I wish I got to see. And I watch YouTube a lot and look for helpful YouTube content. And I had my most favorite kayaking in all of the world 
yesterday. It was amazing. I was at Wikiwatchy. So, so huge thank you to Chelsea at Sweet Life Sandberg for putting out that video that helped me to plan that. But there's your behind the scenes view. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next adventure. Ciao.